Hello! No intro today other than this, which is the intro. Jonas, from STS Guitars. I told him STS, that's just, for, for a guy with a list, that's not easy, STS Guitars. But uh, there's, a, there, there's a theme behind it, which we'll get to. Um, Jonas came here a while ago and said, look, these are my guitars. And I said, these are cool guitars. And I said, would you like me to build you one? I'm like, yeah, make it in cool colors. And uh, he's back because he built one in cool colors. Right? Yes, I did it, finally. And I have seen a picture, but I have not seen the guitar. I was hiding while he was handling it. So that means we will unbox it now. Then we'll show you pretty pictures. Then we'll talk about it and play it through les amps, as the French say. Le, le, les amps. Amplificateur. I, I, don't, I don't speak French. I don't know. So, um, gimme. Gimme. I'm running. And this Henning is the promised colorful, lovely. Now, full disclosure, uh, he is delivering them in mono gig bags. That's one of mine. Uh, I mean, he could order them in the nice, you know, colors, but he probably isn't because the guitar is colorful enough. So, um, but the STS guitars will be brought to you in mono gig bags because these are literally indestructible. Um, so, yeah. I know how a gig bag works, okay? Yeah. There's the questionable headstock. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say. Well, you know it's kind of weird, right? Frickin' Quentin James is gonna go like, but the headstock. Shut it, Quentin. Okay? Zippity doo da. <coughs> Tomorrow's come in along for me. Design choices. Design choices, Quentin. That's what it is. Yes. As one would say in Kentucky, where he's from, shut fuck up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, nice. 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 Oh, that's light. Is it semi-hollow? Potentially, yes. You, you you did nail the colors. Yes. Like quite a bit. Where's my <laughs> finger going? Where's my finger gone? Uh, I'll put Jack. Uh, That's really far in there, she said. She, he. Holy, uh, why is it so far in there? So that the Jack is recessed? Okay, there's recessed and then there's a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, no, look, look at this right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I don't even... You need a special cable to get no. that happening. No, just regular guitar cable and then it's fully recessed and you can, if you're really playing guitar, not just sitting down and you stand up, you have the strap and then you uh, wrap the cable directly oh, over the over the strap. An angle jack's not going to work. No. <laughs> no. No, if, if you have an angle jack and that is the reason why you won't buy the guitar, you get a cable for free. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, it's clearly offset, but it's a really small body for an offset guitar. It's smaller than you would normally uh, have, yes. She but said. Yes. Again, again. <laughs> um, God, she's beautiful. And the F holes yes. are right there. Exactly. And I could actually pick the pattern. <laughs> yes. I was a pattern picker. Yes. What's the model called? Oh, Kita. Oh, guitar. Oh, guitar or Okita. Oh, of course, because it is uh, semi hollow. I guess there's a block in the middle. No, it's just r right maybe here and then up to here. Okay. You hear it if you scratch the finger or tap it. You hear where it go it's going. So half of the body is. Uh, okay. Is, um, so semi. 
Yeah, semi. It's, you know, nice and light, which also, also means we have a little bit of neck dive, which you, you have, have on that type of guitar. You chose a heavy um, uh, wood for the neck. If you just put it a little bit more to the right, you have, do you have a, n not that much, just a, a tiny yeah. bit. Um, no, that's, I, I you you have like to find out your resting point, get to know the guitar, and then you are fully able to have it balanced. So I do like say. dark necks, so that's why Jonas went with We're gonna get there. Mm, a dark wood. A dark wood and a light wood and um, another wood. So, which I, I just made a very funny th sound. Um, okay, before we go into more details, let me shoot some cool proud shots and uh, put them in right here. Now, wasn't that pretty? We guess we haven't done it yet, but you've already seen it. There's time travel involved. The wood choices. Yes. And this. And yes. also the, why in the world would a guitar that I had made have mm -hmm. Schaller tuners? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Schaller. Had a run in with a guy, doctor something, mm. was an arrogant dude. But hmm. we, we decided that that's what it has to have because of reasons. Reasons. Which are? Foremost reasons is I try to source everything I get from Germany. And that's why the STS what he said? comes in. It's not heavy. Well, okay, yeah. hold it with an outstretched arm like I'm doing it for the, for the photo shoots all the time. So, yeah. Sustain, 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 come on, sustain, you know it. 
Sustainability is a word. Mm-hmm. Now, I think we should all be more aware of where shit comes from. And no, I don't think the guitar industry is going to change the world, save the world, or wreck the world. But you got to start somewhere. And if you're building guitars, where are you going to start? You're going to start at the thing that you're doing, right? Yes. So we wish we could, uh, you know, deal with apples and uh, oranges and onions. My brother just said he bought a sack of onions and they came from uh, New Zealand. Now, if you live in New Zealand... And you're watching there, you're like, what's the problem? (laughs) But when you're living in Germany, buying onions that came from New Zealand is just dumbassery. Even buying apples, which you can grow, and we do, in Germany. Why in the world are we buying apples from Spain? You know, hey, Carlos, I'm sorry, we want to to give you money. But I mean, it doesn't make sense. Um, Building a guitar from wood... Of course, if you have to have the wenge or the mahogany or whatever, because of reasons, yeah. But are there other woods that can also do the job that you can source locally? Uh, go down to the riverbank, talk to Herbert and say, Herbert, can you take that tree down? I need to build a guitar. Yes. Then, you know, Herbert's got a job, but that's not what it's about. It's like that tree literally has to come half a mile up the road. Hmm. That's the idea. That's, that's why idea. Schaller sourced in Germany. Now, the question that I have with Schaller, made in Germany or just German that's company? It, that's what it says. Made in Germany. If you imprint it, you have to stand up to it, I guess. Assembled in Germany or actually manufactured? It, 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 it really says made. It's it's it, uh, embossed or casted even in the, in the thing. Okay. We so take these didn't come and from China. And look, there's nothing wrong with parts from China. Those people make amazing stuff. Hmm. It's the having to get here now you're going to say excuse me you know the tuners on three or four guitars uh not coming from china are not going to solve the world's problems but yes you get to start somewhere and this guy looks in the mirror in the morning and 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 children yeah yeah and for personal satisfaction knows that he's doing as small as it is get it that's what she said. He's uh, doing okay. his part to, to start something. Yeah. If we all start talking about it, become more aware of it, it's the beginning. In the end, it's got to be the freaking onions from New Zealand. Okay? And it might be the, I don't know, wood for IKEA furniture that doesn't have to travel around the world because yeah. that's, that's where the masses are. Yeah. You're not building, you know, 10 guitars and not shipping wood from overseas isn't isn't it but we're talking about it right yes so explain to us we got shala that's the signal bridge wrap around is, signal right which is it, very nice it's locking and i think that that is also a benefit as much as you hate shala this is a really good design it's not that i hate shala for the part the, 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 the tuners for a while were pretty shit <clears throat> But it uh, it was more oh, no. dealing with, with 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 the people was yeah. weird. We have one volume because exactly. I, th- I because I said one volume, right? Because uh, standard for me is one volume because okay. most of the guitar players they don't use it. I don't. I know just if had you a discussion a with I don't know who it was. I think it was a uh, guy from PRS, hmm. not Paul. Um, and we talked about. I said I would always go for just the volume and the tone even though it's not down it's it's fully up in the in the signal path will influence the sound exactly. uh, but well i mean negatively or positively some people might have to, might have to put that in to get the tone knob sound even though they don't use it Schaller pickups by Häusel Harry that's yes. a sherman guy <laughs> yes making them here in germany yeah um, Schaller tuners. Then we have what's this? Alder. So nothing you don't know when it comes to building guitars. German Alder. Yes. Oh, the the, no. the species is European. Would it be sustainable if it came from Holland? More so than uh, if it would come from overseas, right? Again, you know, level of degrees and all that. Just be aware of it. Not necessarily when you, 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 we just talked about Fender. You're like, well, 
Fender is using all American woods, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the maple, all the yeah, probably sourced in the U.S. We assume. Or Canada was maybe. Um, then for some models, they do their own uh, 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 hardware in house. So Fender technically more sustainable than some other uh, companies. What we talk about, then the guitar's got to get to you. And how much of a problem in terms of sustainability is that? Well, we're not renting a whole plane for this, you know? <laughs> Again, the onions, that's a different thing. Whole ship of onions, that's a lot of fossil fuels up into the air and all that stuff. One guitar isn't going to kill the planet. But yet again, we still have to think about how does it get to... If we, if we do this, we have to think the whole process. Exactly. Because you guys are going to. So, um, uh, maybe because you're uh, saying uh, wood choices and sustainability, what I also do, and you may feel it already, that it feels quite woody. Oh, no, it's, it's not... This, this isn't polyurethane. No, no, no. Something. This is special uh, oil and uh, for sure it's, uh, it's been through some processes to make it more rigid and uh, to build a surface. Um, but if I would do this color and just one splash of oil, then you would be colored. So I have to protect it, but it's based on natural um, resources. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is this walnut? That is um, walnut steamed walnut so that is kind of in the drying process it gets a little bit of a different uh, color and it is european uh, walnut okay and then maple i guess in yes. the strips yeah just uh, as a contrast you yeah. could leave it out but i think it looks really yep. cool uh, probably also more stable in terms of like a three piece neck right yep you always build more stable necks if you uh, uh, add multiple pieces then we got i i, I really love the uh <laughs> screws there that's that's really nice detail And then we have a maple fretboard. Yes, flame maple. With a beautiful flame in there. Yeah. L- love the whatever shape inlays. Yes. <laughs> They're called whatever shape. Yes. Some people would say bullet, but we're definitely not calling it that. No. Uh, L- little, little penis rockets. <laughs> Büroklammer. <laughs> Büroklammer. <laughs> yeah. uh, Leslie Büroklammer is... Uh, paperclip. Paperclip. Yeah, paper, paperclip inlays, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Paperclip inlays. Uh, They are made from walnut. And as you can see, because we had the discussion, the side, do- side dots should be really full of contrast and visible. I think that this time... I, I suggested argue. that to several companies, do the inlays from the side, like rectangles or whatever, or paper clips or mini penises. <laughs> and then you also save on the side dots because you actually have something that you can look at from the side. And it's very, very visible. Yeah. This is a beautiful combination of inlay slash side dot I mean, it, 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 it smells like wood, <laughs> <Yeah>. she said. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's one of these days. Yeah. It's one of these days and it's fine. Um, it, it, I mean, she's a beauty. I forgot the name Thank again. Thank you. Okita. Oki- <laughs> Okita was a beauty in the uh, Japanese Kansai era. She was a waitress at a tea house. Oh, okay. Many famous painters, woodprint artists made pictures of her. And that's why... You have an Okita now as well. You have direct mounted pickups. You've got a truss rod, spoke wheel right there, which is, you know, what you do. That's how you do that. Um, And one thing, all screws, also the pickup screws, they are um, with threaded inserts. So they are all mechanic screws. No wood screws where you just loosen them once, tighten them maybe once again, and then it's... So high end shit, really. I mean, that's what you would expect from a, you know, hand-built... German craftsmanship. Exactly. <laughs> German engineering. Um, bone? Yes. Buffalo bone or some... Buff- I'm, yeah, I'm, sure the, I'm sure the buffalo wasn't happy about that. But uh, somebody had to eat it. And then uh, let, what do let's, you do let's with say the, the buffalo died of natural causes, yes. was found in the woods near the creek where he yeah. uh, Fairly, passed away yeah. uh, peacefully and happily. Yes, exactly. And then someone picked up the bone and said, let's smack that on Sherman guitars exactly. and ship that bone to Germany. No, it was already found. It was already yeah. a German buffalo. For sure. Oh, for for sure. an Italian, they do mozzarella from the... Buffalo? What? Buffalo mozzarella. So oh. they, they have buffaloes. Maybe that is one of the, the bones from that one. I don't know. It's so hard. For, for some parts, it's actually super hard to know where they come from. Okay, well, where does this bone come from? She asked. 
I'm going I'm, 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 I'm okay. to plug it's this okay. thing in before we look at yes. another guitar, yes, because he's got more models. Than, I, I mean, it's offset, yeah. but I love how small it it feels. It's it's very, it's original. And of course, the I mean, have you seen the top of this? Have you really seen this? <laughs> yeah. Looks a little bit different in this camera. We can't fix that, so shut it. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of movement because that is uh, actually a kind of a mosaic. So this is not, you're not painting on lines. No, no, this no. This is no. actually little pieces of wood. This is not CNC machine. No, nothing that's handmade uh, guitar tops. And uh, Are you crazy? Uh, no, I just want to do something different. And that is visually striking. And you have, no, you know, you have flamed maple, you have uh, kilted maple, you have whatever maple. And this, in that case, is mosaic maple. This is mosaic maple. Wow. Yeah. And... Uh, you can do crazy things with it if you color it. Let's see if this works because it, it, well, okay. Okay. I mean, and, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's completely gone. Um, oh, by the way, uh, Jonas brought uh, pick drums. <laughs> These freaking Germans. <laughs> we, I personally love puns that are English, but only make sense if you speak German or German if you only, but how many people, so uh, I got a little envelope right there. Pictrum, yes. like, like pig and plectrum, because we say plectrum in Germany. Hmm. So Tibor gave me a little envelope and um, we got these, I mean, this is slightly oversized. Um, got these, these things. And then let me see if we can do this. Come on. That pig face is on it. There's a, there's a pig on it. Yeah. Which gives you grip. And then, <laughs> and here's a, here's a pig <laughs> butt. Come on. Come yeah. On. Can't see it. Yeah, yeah you can. There it is. Bigfoot. <laughs> um, and he also has uh, Jazz 3s. Yes. And there's something special about them because they are made from whatever holds wood together. Exactly. I pay attention. Uh, made in Germany, um, or resources uh, from, from Germany and... Um, Biodegradable. Uh, the Super Echo ones, you can just biodegrade them once you are done with them. They they feel like plastic. I mean, they absolutely feel like your standard Dunlop slash whatever insert company here. They are cool. It, everything about them is exactly like you would expect from a normal pick, but yeah. then biodegradable. That's the kind of thinking that we need. Again, is this going to solve the big plastic island in the ocean? No, I don't think pigs are the problem, no. but we start somewhere. And if we all put a little bit of thought into it, then maybe we don't have the big plastic island somewhere in the ocean. So I'm gonna play this little little thing uh, here, and we're gonna see if we have, why is it in tune? I didn't tune it, I, I put it- uh... You didn't tune it? Uh, oh, it, it when, I came, when I came here. So I just- uh... It's perfectly in tune. Wow, okay. Impressive. <laughs> you still have to be able to play, I mean. Some jazz was involved. Well, minor major seven, and then also having the Minus seven in there. Beautiful. 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 And uh, it, that was easier because it is a shorter scale length than you would normally expect. What's the scale length? 640 millimeters because it's German engineered. So we use millimeters and not inches. So how many inches would that be? Something. Uh, Short, shorter than your fender scale length and longer than your PRS still a little bit. Okay. So between the 25 and the 25 and a half. Somewhere there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Where's my... Made in Germany. Where's my... Well, obviously, what, uh, what brand? Pure meat. We're gonna lube it up with an accelerate. <sighs> There's so many dick jokes in this already. I mean, obviously we got to lube it up. This video is dick joke central. As you came to expect from me for some reason. Yeah, why does it At have Sweetwater to be Sweetwater Gear Fest, there were like 40 uh, content creator influencers. And then Tyler pointed out uh, 
directly pointed at me and said, uh, watch out, Henning, something about political correctness or whatever. I don't remember, but I, do, I would point it out. I don't know why. Yes. <laughs> Very thick, it, 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 uh, quite a bit of output on those pickups, huh? Yes, and that also is something that comes with only having the volume. You get a little bit of extra output and yeah. um, cl um, clarity. Clarity, okay. Because yeah. that, that amp is being pushed, I mean, a tiny bit. They are the classics from, from Heusel, a set of classic uh, pickups. Um, But I mean, beautiful. listen to how thick that tone is. too much. Ah, uh, here we go. And that is less. I love that it's thick, but the top end is there. Yeah. It's not it's not so round that you don't have beautiful clarity and sparkliness, but sometimes let's say you have the sparkliness on like a tally, mm. but then the the bottom isn't yes. there. It it really has both. Tone is there, sustain is there, as we would expect, because I mean, this thing isn't, you know, 25 bucks. <laughs> What I'm doing here, note wise, but I mean, you don't care. Right? Just look at the booty gunners. Yeah. I'm really, really curious to see what happens now. This is one thing I always fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Ready? Ah, uh, here. Almost. Beautiful playability. Morgan MVP 66 and Leslie is on the right camera. It's almost as if the woman knows what the fuck she's doing. That was kind of cool. There's uh, all the clarity in the low end that I want from power chords and the rocky. While the top end is exactly what I need for it to come through the mix. That That's balance. Wow.
good choices, Henning. All your choices. Some people might want the toe knob because there is a little bit of that top end that you might want to tame just not by using it, but by, but by having it. But that's a choice. I mean, you could even just like, you know, put it in the back there, <laughs> she said. <clears throat> and then um, you could put the toe knob in the back and not even use it. Or you could uh, just uh, dial back the amp. If that's possible, it, it almost does always different things, but sometimes you can do it. But, well, I never uh, fiddled with my amps. I don't even know I have Love the balance. I'm not, I'm not missing anything. I'm not looking Perfect. for more top end. I'm not looking for more low end. It's a, it's a beautifully balanced instrument. Uh, we're gonna Thanks go so to seven, which Ooh. is the uh, Fryette module in the Synergy Syn 50. He had to think about. <laughs> There's a lot of bite to cut through without Fishman fluence and all that bullshit. Um, and because of the hollowness, you've got you've got a special kind of attack that I'm used to from PJDs and guitars of that nature. But there's still enough oomph to to make this really work. Yeah, Andrew Boehner should down tune that to ridiculous and just go. Uh, minor. I've never played in C, but I mean, it, it works. It works. <laughs> Source 20 to just select the six that you need. <laughs> the E1 works, okay? So we, we, we've got this one. The rest we'll, we'll <laughs> see over time. Really like it in, as a heavy guitar. As well, yeah? I mean, come on! <laughs> That, that was the original discussion. Does it really fit also a high gain, higher gain tone? And I think it's as versatile enough to they're do it. They're, they're hoisels. I mean, you know, Harry knows how to make a pickup. And um, thanks, Harry. I mean, I don't know how easily I can get over this. You, you will. But uh, uh, I mean, uh, listen. <laughs> Let's go, I mean, let's be mean and let's go to the V30. Because okay. uh, it, it'll, it'll get a lot. Yeah. Uh, because we... Not as loose, yeah. You will tell me. Here we go. Uh. Uh, that's a V30 now.
that's mix ready. That's you put that in the mix and you're good. Thanks. Well done. Okay. Um, well played. And you know what? The very best thing about this guitar is that I can keep it. <laughs> I mean, that's, well, that's kind of the... Originally, I would have said, who wants something like that? But there are already other people saying, man, that, how cool is that? Yeah, I mean, come on. But you brought another one, right? Yes. So we can show people the Not Me guitar. The not so flashy, completely different, other end of the spectrum, Okita. Okay, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go back to the other speaker. You get the other guitar. Okay. You're doing it again. This is the mono sleeve. Thanks, Volker. <laughs> Wherever you are, Volker. Okay, also not very heavy. No, no, the also, choices are the same. We have a very deep hole here again. So, we got one volume, three position switch. Heusels again, I assume. Yeah, uh, same Heusel classics, but zebras in that case. Signum bridge? Uh, no, that, that is a that is ABM, just as a different uh, choice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Non-locking. Non-locking. Yeah. Why? Uh, other end of the spectrum. Finan price wise, other end of the spectrum, or just no, 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 just uh, for for the people that don't want presenting. a practical guitar and you know modern features. Exactly. You can get it. I can even change it if someone is you know. I mean, this one smells good too. Ooh. <laughs> Tell me. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a also the, 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 the wood oils make it uh, smell nice. I love the look of this a little bit stained here and then... The overall instrument look should be like a kind of a classical instrument. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and okay. and that's, that's how I kind of tailor then everything. Yeah. I, I, I really have to say, design-wise, this is clever. I always tell companies it's freaking 2023. I'm actually last year I said it's freaking 2022. Guess a year before that I said it's 2021. But the, the overall message is the same. Yeah. Why are you going with F holes mm. on guitars? I get it on a very traditional jazz guitar. But your modern company, why are you using the traditional F hole? There are so many variations you can do on the F hole. Mm. Uh, why not? define your brand by that design piece. And um, this is very clever because we got two holes right here, but with this tiny little line, which I guess is an actual piece of wood. That is a strip of walnuts, yes. You are crazy. <laughs> um, you are a carpenter by trade, right? No, no, no. No? No, uh, engineer. Yeah. Then you watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to do <laughs> woodworking. Yeah, and you do. You have to design it. First of all, you have to design it. Uh, and you have to come up with it. And yeah. then there are always means to do and it. And then this insert here of, I guess, walnut, right? Yes. Um, if it's so, dark, it's walnut. It feels like an F-hole. It, it, it feels extremely familiar. However, it is just, 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 just these two holes. Yeah. It is just these two holes with a beautiful stripe. Yeah. There are ways, companies, to take the F hole idea into the what century do we have? Twenty first. Twenty first. Twenty first century. I don't know things. Um, love the silver knob. That time it it fit. I tried to put on one matching the color of the hardware on yours, but it doesn't fit. I asked Charla why doesn't it fit. They said people want the tight fit to use it on others, and then I asked, but why doesn't it fit yours? No response. No response. Hey, and we're back to Charla. Um, so we have a walnut fretboard. Exactly. Yeah. Walnut fretboard. You, uh, if I told you it's rosewood, would you have second guessed it? Mm, no. Nah, yeah, yeah. It looks more walnutty, but the thing is, yeah. you know, if it sounds good and it doesn't have to come from Timbuktu, nothing against Timbukturians. No, the people, you're good people. Lo lovely place. But um, you know, it doesn't make sense. Uh, obviously, maple. Yeah. Walnut strips. Yeah. The back uh, is elder. Elder well. again. Yeah. Okay. But um, stained, so you could, you know, with and, stain. And the top is uh, maple. Maple. Maple top. Yeah. I mean, you know. German maple, obviously. Yeah, for sure. Why wouldn't I use something else? And a uh, weird buffalo who died yes. a happy uh, death. Yeah. Okay, let's see where we are in terms of the tuning. 
Is it good as well? Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty damn good. See, we could show you the tuner, but Leslie turned the tuner cam off because she's like, we don't need it. We don't need no stinking tuner cam. For having traveled here, even if it wasn't tuned this morning, it's still good. It came out of a gig bag, so. Okay, let's see. We have different woods. We have a different fretboard. Um, That's the main choice that may make a different sound. People always tend to say, well, it's neck and so Glenn on. Glenn says it makes no sound at all, make di no difference at all. But on the other hand, Glenn has Almost. been wrong quite a bit Almost um, in, in, in recent history about things. I love the man, but you know, we all know Glenn is wrong. I like the mirroring of the uh, shapes, shapes there in the, in, in the, they're not dots. No, they're hexagons. They're hexagons. And that's the kind of standard. That's so okay. standard is uh, hexagon. So the mini penises only I get. If you want it, I wanted to make it really special. <laughs> if you want a very small penis, Jonas has the, the you covered. Uh, yeah. Pearl thread is a little bit larger. That, that that's impressive balance because can you hear that tingly jangly top end while the bottom is there and it doesn't really go away let's do this again listen listen <laughs> Come the fuck on. I mean, you heard, <laughs> you heard me only attacking the high strings while it was still filled out in the bottom half a song later. That is good. Okay, I'm not saying that because a man built me guitar. I have had, I'm going to be, be no. very straightforward with yeah. you. I have had some high-end guitars here that builders have specifically built for me or said, here's a guitar, 4,000 bucks, keep it, play it in videos. And I had to send them back and say, no, sorry, I cannot do that because it doesn't sound any good. Okay, so I'm not gonna take the guitar. There's no money exchanged uh, to show you in videos and make this video if if I don't fully believe in the product. This is um, this is very impressive. Uh, wow. Thank Why am I doing C over D? There we are in the telly kind of. favorite thing of mine to play with some delay. Thank <laughs> you. 
feels a bit more solid body than the other one. The other one has a luftiness. <laughs> that's, that's not a word. Yeah, uh, it is. An airy attack thing that is more, uh, especially on, on the uh, heavy stuff. This feels really more as if this wasn't there uh, on the on the heavy stuff on the on the on the, on the drop stuff uh, that that attack is more solid body the different things i mean i made the different bridge and the the wood choices oh absolutely so i mean i'm not a, a tone wood defender but uh, that's the part that uh, could have an impact that and sounds so like a, that sounds like a, a superhero the tonewood defender tonewood defender <laughs> lucky you that this is the one you you love more. I don't it? know. I don't. They're, they're both great. I yeah. mean, the, the the sustain and balance on this is ridiculous. <laughs> I, I, I didn't need it to know. I didn't know. Okay, uh, also, I gotta say, yeah. stunning guitar. Now, of course, uh, for these people, we need to talk about price. Again, the main idea is sustainability. High that, end. And that, high end. What? Come on. Heusel, ABM, Schaller, locally sourced woods. Look at the craftsmanship. I mean, the the... the, the Detailed woodwork is ridiculous. So, how is playability? It, 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 I mean, it plays fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. You made a good guitar. Shut it. <laughs> he does. Um, you have never heard of him because he's been around the block for you know not so long. One and a half years. That's why he's here. And um, I think STS is a, just a dumbass name for a company. And then and then Leslie made the point. Yeah, but if it's a German company, it's all about, you know, German sustainability and locally sourced, why is it an English name? That is a good, Co that's a good point. Yeah, STS is Sound Through Sustainability. And if you would say Klang aus Nachhaltigkeit or Klang durch Nachhaltigkeit, that would be a stupid name. KDS Guitars. Or Gitarren, KDS Gitarren. But aus, then you've got Kass. Kass. And that in that in, in Dutch that means cheese, and cheese is good. Cheese is really good. So I made it STS. You make you can make the logo look a little different and stuff. So hey, I got a bitch about something. Okay, so far all I can bitch about is the logo. Um, uh, price. I I <laughs> we we know it's not cheap because I mean look no. at the details. Okay. Listen to the sounds. You can't play it, but holy crap. Go. Okay. So for this one, it's uh, around four and a half thousand euros. We expected that, right? I mean, you have to expect that. And that includes a beautiful mono case, right? Yes. Uh, the, not the sleeve that I brought, but the um, Vertigo. Oh, so that's like a 300 euro case with it. Mm -hmm. As you would expect for a high guitar and everyone that says, well, but why not a hard case? Please watch Colin Scott's video where we uh, abuse the mono case in the worst way no hard case exactly. would have survived what that gig bag survived yeah. and um that is why i re recommend it to Jonas to use those gig bags because it is actually protecting your guitar better than a hard case and i will absolutely vouch for that it's it those are impressive cases so four and a half for that and so if you want a crazy mosaic one in fancy colors like i have and with crazy wood choices we just hit the 5000 mark just a little bit over that's not that i mean it's no the 500 extra is well spent yeah okay and you get the mini penises i mean i mean who, who doesn't want <laughs> okay, a small I can even dick i mean really yeah i mean and everyone dreams of that maybe just me i don't know it could be <laughs> um no uh Apart from 
that you're using locally sourced materials, mm-hmm. apart from the cool gig bag and apart from the visuals, minus the headstock. But it's it's recognizable. It, it is, and that is what uh, was maybe also more important, and it uh, catches a lot of design features on the regular mosaic top, and so it represents the brand. Of course, he's got an explanation. Of yes. course, <clears throat> the thing is really. I I just experienced very good balance, beautiful top end that I'm always looking for. The low end is not too much, but it's freaking there. And that G that was just sitting there forever. You didn't even know your guitar did that, right? No. No. You had no, no idea. No. He, he was like, what the? Huh? Yeah. I was amazed. It's pretty damn impressive. So go to the website below. Mm-hmm. SS guitar. South. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Uh, there's, you know, more pictures and all that stuff. And uh, you'll see, uh, I, I, f- I forgot the name again. The o- 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 Okita. 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 I'm going to have to write that somewhere. Yes. Okita. Oh, Okita. Kita. Oh, Kita. Mm-hmm. That's going to be that, that, that thing. You're going to see that in uh, videos. I usually have certain things that I use guitars for. I, not for a gent demo. We're not going to do that. But... Uh, I can definitely see anything kind of clean, uh, clean, clean, clean. The bluesy side. I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot you can do with this thing. Do not get sidetracked or distracted by the hollowness because that doesn't limit the guitar. And um, you have ones that are not hollow, right? Exactly. You can get it solid body as well. Then you don't have the choices between uh, the beautiful redesigned f holes or the missing mosaic pieces. And it's a solid top. Exactly. And probably a little bit cheaper. Yes, that's a lot of. Uh, it's a. I call it the Okita Sound Bowl because that is actually completely non-parallel, which um, adds uh, not spikes to the frequency spectrum because there are no standing waves. Mm-hmm. So it is a little bit more. The engineer. Yeah. We never talked about that. There's a lot more to discover with STS. So exactly. go to the website, write the man an email, um, and talk. Exactly. Do that because it is you know small batch custom shop anything you want well within reason okay mm. so um thank you for my uh, a very very stunning guitar uh, this will go back with him and um you have a nice day and uh he wouldn't know if i ask him what i say at the end do you know you don't know you've never watched a video till the end it's like <laughs> animals, animals at the end yeah thank you uh, no yeah we go. <laughs> bye <laughs>